Hey Aries, welcome. This is your weekend tarot reading, but it is divinely timed. Whenever you watch the reading, that is fine. It's for anyone with Aries in your chart. And um, yeah, we'll go into the message. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for supporting. Thanks for giving the video a thumbs up to help it reach out across YouTube. So Spirit, please show us what is going on here for Aries the next few days. Aries the next few days, please. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Or maybe just forgive the past. Maybe just leave the past where it is. Um, as you release it, uh, we're on a new moon right now as I record this. Um, I know um, I'm entering a new chapter. And I pulled a card the other day out of a deck. And it was sort of like a death card, you know. And I know that was symbolising the death of, you know, the old identity of Kerry, <laughs> you know. Uh, and the way that I was functioning in my relationships because I'm not going to do that anymore and I know I've reached that point and this is the same for you it's like you saying something is now finally healed inside me and I'm not going to repeat those patterns anymore great power coming from the ancestors as well to support you with this throwing yourself into the new yeah definitely on a new moon this is a real, like, new moon reading. <laughs> Out of all the ones I've done, I feel like this is a real... Um, it feels like a new moon thing, straight off with the first two cards. Um, very potent time for Aries. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, look at this. You know, th there's been some stagnation, you know, you were waiting around... You were feeling like you weren't really getting what you deserved in life. Um, it was hard to manifest things because it was like you were getting dragged down. And that is so difficult. And I, I know what it's like because I, I sort of went through a period of time like that myself. And it's it's so frustrating because you, you feel like it's two steps forward, two steps back all the time. Um, there were certain things you needed to grieve. This is the thing that Tara is showing. There's some purging. There may still be some purging going on. There may still be times when you're noticing that there's this part of you that still needs to let out some of the pain from the past. And that's OK. And you don't need to analyse it or figure it out. It's just literally just expressing that pain and then just letting it go. Because um, what's happening here is you've got two cups, which are going to be much more emotionally fulfilling going forward. And you've also got a nice solid bridge where you're going to move forward with your life. Things are not going to ever be how they were. It's like you came in on a frequency that was very challenging. And now, uh, going forward, things are going to start improving for Aries. I do keep seeing love for Aries. I see great improvements for Aries. Um, you've also got here the Queen of Swords energy. It's kind of about you figuring out what your boundaries are, what you're um, willing to do, what you're not willing to do. Uh, some people may encounter you quite harsh over the next few days, but it's just the way it is. You have to be cold, you have to be harsh because um, you're putting a very uh, definite line between the past and where you are now. Um, for some of you, it's not the right time for a relationship just because there's other things you can deal with as you become it's like you're empowering yourself and learning to be resilient within yourself, um, you know, and that is actually a more rewarding um, journey at the moment. Um, I know that's the case for me, you know, and um, I'm getting a lot out of that. So that is the Queen of Swords energy, you know, but let's see what's going on for your person. And it's good because you're getting to know yourself more and more so that it's easier for you to communicate what it is that's right for you and you know which things to explore and which things not to explore. Um, you, you are dealing with somebody as you purge um, still occasionally and you still have these moments of purging and stuff. Um, you know, you, you do sometimes will find that this person that's connecting into your energy also is the same and that they don't a little bit like you they're not sure 100 percent confident about what the path ahead is or they may have had some sort of depression you know um so you're sort of similar in that sense but the, i just think you're you're kind of through that you're almost through that path 
and you're actually coming out onto the other side now in the next few days where you're, you're like, yeah, I'm looking at myself and I am kind of where I want to be and I actually know who the hell I am. And this is very good because um, you can start throwing yourself into life a bit more with with enjoyment, you know. Um, you know, the, the person here has got depression. I don't know who this is because obviously it's a collective reading. It's going to be different for different people. But, you know, this is somebody that's still got some things to figure out. Um, but I think you figured a hell of a lot out, Leo. I really do. And maybe you're a bit further forward than this other person, I have to say. Um, you have got the message here, what's your thoughts? Your spirit guides want you to be very vigilant. It's time to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. You know, they're supporting you now. I don't think there's going to be any fear for Aries. I feel like you're past that point now. You've dealt with it. You may be purging out occasionally the last little bits. But this is now a much more positive chapter for you, you know, um, in terms of your resilience. And uh, like I said, it, it does set the tone for some good things to come into your life now. Because you're being very firm with the universe of what it is that you want to receive. So no one's messing with you. <laughs> no one's going to pull you down anymore. No one's going to confuse you anymore. Um, and what I'm being shown is you're actually going to start enjoying life more your way, not, not prescribed by society or comparing yourself to anybody else. So it's a kind of awakening process on this new moon for Aries. That's the message. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for giving the video a thumbs up. If you want to book in, just please contact me. Send a new piece across Gaia.